Hi everyone and welcome back to another collection snapshot from the Wyoming Veterans Memorial Museum. I'm John Woodward, the Director of Museums for the Wyoming Military Department. In these videos we share interesting and unique items from our collection. This week, in honor of Veterans Day, we're traveling back in time to the First World War with a German trench sign from the Shelby Van Berg collection. Armies during the First World War didn't invent trench warfare, but they certainly expanded and used it considerably. Uh, during the American Civil War, Union and Confederate forces, for example, used trench networks during the sieges at Vicksburg in 1863 and Petersburg in 1865. Trenches in World War I weren't just a single line of earthworks on either side of no man's land, but a complex network of trenches and bunkers. There were one or two lines of trenches behind the main front. These served as fallback positions for troops and places for troops to gather before an assault. Support or travel trenches connected each line in the network. Signs, like this one, helped soldiers navigate the network. Our sign today was picked up as a souvenir by World War I veteran Shelby Van Berg. Shelby served in the Colorado National Guard before World War I. During the war, he served as the supply sergeant for Charlie Company, 115th Engineers. After the armistice, he was stationed along the Rhine River Valley in Germany as part of the Army of Occupation. It's unknown when or where Shelby picked up the sign. It gives directions in German to an artillery protection point and a light machine gun position. It's likely made from a piece of scrap wood, possibly part of an ammunition crate. That wraps up things for today. If you enjoy these videos, please be, be sure to like and share them. If you're watching them on our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.